Hey guys, welcome to this week's video and this week I bring you a review of the brush pen set of Ecoline and it's the primary set. Before we start with the review, this set was kindly sent to me by Olmar in that big parcel I opened up a few weeks ago already and so I decided to play with them. I already knew this set and I had had a few of these pens. I basically had the blue, the yellow and the magenta color and I just hadn't touched the blender or the black. And so the blue, it's the pen 578 and it's the color sky blue and the pink is 337, it's magenta and the yellow, it's 205 the lemon yellow and then the black, it's the 700 and then we have a colorless blender uh, even though I kinda knew these materials, I did a full swatch in the pages just to check out how this reacted and then I really really wanted to try and mix the colors in a ceramic palette that I have just because last time I used this set, I didn't even try this, I didn't mix the colors between them I just really used the colors that they gave me and I always felt like they were a bit too harsh in sometimes and I have kind of felt myself a little bit limited and I don't know why I hadn't thought of this before just try and mix them. They mix pretty well, they do become extremely lighter in terms of just opacity, not opacity but just in terms of value, they become super pastel which is not bad and it did allow me to mix a ton of colors. I really enjoyed mixing with the black, it gave me a sort of a more greenish tone and well sort of more burgundy I really enjoyed mixing with that and the black also really separates to a cool like mixture and that was really surprising for me I really enjoyed it when I had this set, I had this set maybe two years ago and I just didn't use it that much so I gave it away to a friend I believe but with this way that using it I think I might get more use out of it Yeah, so here are the colors that I kind of had and then I decided to do mermaid because we are a mermaid. <laughs> I always love drawing mermaids and so on mermaid I just go extra. <laughs> I went to this drawing with just mixing colors and just trying to have fun. When I used to have the set, I like I said, I pretty much only used the colors as they were. Mostly because I really enjoy the tips of the Ecoline markers. They are sturdy, they are long, but they're also bendy and they really create some fun marks but I ended up not using it that much since I only had these colors and they were a bit too strong for what I wanted to create and I didn't found myself using them a lot because of that but with the technique of mixing them in a separate palette I can use them by just mixing all the colors I can use the pigments and it's still watercolor no problem and it works pretty well this way it's just a bit of a hassle so to speak to keep mixing so if you are doing a huge illustration with where you have to have a huge amount of paint, this might not be the best solution since the color that you create, it's not a lot. You can see I can barely fill up a little small well and it does get extremely light. It was a bit difficult to create darker values with this method of mixing. So I had to just go straight with the pen. But it's pretty cool. I do enjoy the separation that occurred in the hair. These colors, Ecolines don't really granulate, so to speak. They are a more of a liquid watercolor, at least in terms of how they are in the jars. I don't know if you know them. Probably you know them more in the jar form rather than marker. I do have one in jar form. It's a pink, of course. I do enjoy them in marker form, especially because they become very portable if you want to just have a quick watercolor set, even if it's just the primaries. It was pretty easy to carry this. It's probably more comfortable to have a few pens and then a palette and then you can do all the mixtures rather than having tons of jars. So it's an easier way to have your inks or in this case your Ecolines in a more sort of portable way even though you have to mix them. These travel really nice through water and I just really enjoy them. I do want to try and get my hands on the pastel set since I love the softer colors but I can't really achieve those directly with the nib so that's something that I might kind of want to see if I can achieve with the pastel set 
because I really did enjoy it and even though it's a bit of a hassle to keep mixing the colors like that, I really liked it and especially when I used the yellow, it allowed me to sort of get a gradient on the tip since the tip was getting kind of dirty, but I used that to my advantage and I created a gradient on her tail, you'll see that in a few minutes and I thought that looked really cool. Her hair was my favorite part, as always. Some of you asked me in a few videos ago for me to do a tutorial on drying hair. I tend to do tutorials, if when I do tutorials, I usually do them on my Patreon. And I think I might actually do a full-on tutorial for hair just for my Patreon. So if you want to check that out or if you want to see anything else that I do on my Patreon, link is always down below. I'll leave here as well the rewards for this month since I'm really happy with them and I think they look really cute and I also did this month for my Patreon I decided to try and do a temporary tattoo since I got my hands on some temporary tattoo paper and it's not cheap so I can only do a few and I just really wanted to treat my Patreons so it's a little bit of an extra on the higher tier which is Blossom where you get a print and a sticker and this month you also get a temporary tattoo and if you want to become part of our little gang um, I try to post sneak peeks and sometimes step by steps I always do a background as well so that kind of stuff fun and you always get access to my drawings beforehand I ask my patrons opinions awesome stuff I'm currently working on a washi tape as well and they actually decided me, helped me decide between two designs, the primary designs, and then I went forward for that. So they really help me out sometimes when it comes to just getting stuff done. One thing I didn't, uh, one thing I hadn't used before was the blender pen because I always thought it was a bit pointless since I could just use water, but actually came kind of useful when it came to her almost bra part because it allowed me to drag the paint in a more softer way. So I did end up enjoying the blender pen, but I much prefer using water for bigger surfaces. I also really enjoyed this part of just adding pure color straight from the pan to the top of her hair. As you can see, the color is quite vivid on its own and can do just a piece with them, with just the normal markers, but I quite enjoyed mixing them and so I did enjoy seeing how they looked all, all layered like that. It looks like she has like sort of a crazy highlights, which I really liked. In terms of line art, I just tried to use the black here or there, especially in her face. It was quite difficult. I didn't want to use pure black in this. And so here I also go crazy with the blender and I tried to just use the pen a bit and try and try the blender. Um, I really did enjoy this technique. So to sort of summarize, this is that's a tricky <laughs> phrase to say. So to sort of summarize this review, in my opinion, this set is pretty cool you can get a very portable way of just having your primary colors and if you want to mix them a little bit you can easily my only sort of no to it is that i noticed that my acrylic pens don't really want to stick on top of it it looks like the watercolor itself kind of sucks them up i have to i have to test this a bit more but i did another drawing which i'll show in the screen in the end and I kind of noticed that my acrylic pens don't really want to stick at the beginning. I have to layer them a bit more. And I don't know if it's from the paper that I used or it's just these watercolors are a bit thirsty and they just suck up the paint in that case. But it's just a smaller case and it's a bit more to me since I use acrylic pens and all my pieces. 
But other than that, they are really cool. I really enjoyed the color mixers, mixes that I got with just four colors. And like I said, they're super portable. So if you just want to, not that we're going anywhere now, at least I'm not. But if you just want to go for a cafe and you just don't want to take your jars, this is a really portable way to have your inks. And as long as you have someone to mix, you can really create lots of colors with this. I really want to try the pastel set since I do adore the tip of the pens. And I think I do love, even though I do love crazy colors, I think I would love to try and have more soft colors that allow me to still use the tip of the brush. And here, as, as you can see, I'm kind of using the tip of the yellow to pick up the green and create a gradient with the tip. Because like I mentioned, I love the tip of it. It's so nice and versatile. And so this is a cool trick you can try and use. You need to clean your tip in the end. It's not too bad and the yellow is pretty clean by the end. So yeah, i just show you a little bit how you can mix the colors. I just really use, I think you can use even sort of a plastic thing. You just need something that won't suck up the paint and allows you to mix well. In my case, a ceramic palette worked great, but even if you don't have a ceramic palette, I think a dish, a ceramic dish would do well. Something you don't use to eat anymore. And that's what I used to use before I had the ceramic palette actually. And then here I go with my acrylic pens and I don't know if you can kind of see but they're not as vibrant as they usually are. I think, again, I'm not sure if it's the paper or the watercolors but it kind of sucks up, which I'm not sure why. In another paper that I'd use, the ink with the watercolor, I keep trying to call it ink, the watercolor kind of spread out and it really feathered but again, I think it was from that paper. This paper, it did well. The lines hold up amazingly and super crisp and super sharp. So sort of a summarize, I really like this set and I wish I kind of used it more like this when I still had my first set. So I'm really happy to have this one now and to be able to just play with it in a different way. I just really wanted to kind of review this set since I had it for so long and I didn't even think of mixing the colors. So maybe the same happened to you and you might find it that this set is more fun this way since I could easily mix so many colors with just four pens. I think you could too. If you're looking into getting into Ecoline markers, I think this is a great way to start, but honestly, they have so many sets, so many sets. So this is sort of my review of the primary set of the Ecoline brush pen. Please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you have used this material. And if you like this set, I, like I said, I do enjoy them much more now than I used to, especially since now I know how to use them a bit more and I have a different perspective. Please check out all the links down below. I have my Instagram, my Patreon, my Skillshare and all that good stuff. And I also have some affiliate links if you want to get some discount codes. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!